Hey there, I want to demo some of the new features that we deployed on the new version of Query AI. I want to start by creating a new Query AI project, and now you can basically use our CLI for that. So let's do that. Let's try the Crew AI Create, and the name of our project, I'm going to call this Lead Qualification. And now I can press enter, and what it's going to do is, is scaffold the initial project structure for us. So we don't need to do that anymore. You can see how that created a bunch of files and folders, everything that we need. A matter of fact, I can basically open that up right away and we can see what that looks like. So you're going to see that we get a readme for free with all the instructions on how we can set up, install the dependencies, lock them. We have a .n file for our environment variables and we can run our crew with one single command. So it's pretty straightforward. Another cool thing about this is that if you look under config here, you're going to notice that your agents and tasks are now YAML files. So it's pretty straightforward now for you to version this in GitHub and for people to leave comments on it and even non-technical people to kind of like update it without having to parse through code to really understand what these agents are about. Uh, and now you have the single crew.py file that basically brings everything together where you load your agents config, your, you load your tasks config, and you can basically create your agents, create your tasks, create your crew, and you're good to go. This main.py file is where you see um, how you can kick off your crew and you can see some of the inputs that you're sending to your crew. Uh, and this is another cool thing as well. If you look into agents, you can see that they have this topic variable interpolated in them and it's also in the tasks. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can now pass that topic as an input to your crew when you're calling kickoff, and that is pretty straightforward as well. All right, let me put a quick crew together and, and we can look at the results. So bear with me for a second. All right, I wrapped up our crew and I want to show you what that looks like. So we have three agents. We have a lead analyst expert, we have an industry research specialist, and we have a lead scoring expert. The idea is that these three agents are going to be able to take a list of leads and just score them for us so that we get more information about these companies and talking points and we're ready to jump into a call with them if we need to. If we look at tasks, we can see that it's doing three different tasks. They're doing initial analysis, they're doing a research in here, and then they're doing the actual scoring. And you can see there's a lot of variables being interpolated in here. You can see there's ICP, so whatever our definition of the ideal customer would be. You can see there is our pitch in here, so whatever product we are pitching or whatever service we are pitching these leads, it's gonna go in here. And we also have this form response that is basically the information that the leads send us. Let me show you the crew.py file. So on the crew.py file, I'm using the Pydentic export feature. So you can see that I created two Pydentic objects in here, a company object that has a name, size, location, recent news, and annual revenue, and also a lead score object that has uh, the proper lead, the use case summaries, the talking points, and the company object that we just declared above. So now we have our agents in here, and you can see that I'm using some of the new tools. I'm using the new AXA tool that we just shipped in the last version. And we have our tasks in here as well. And the cool thing is that you can see that in our final scoring task, we're saying that the output of this task should be an instance of our lead score pydentic object, that object that we declared right up here. That means that once the task finishes, our crew is gonna make sure to transform whatever answer it is into this object so that we can work with that. All right, let me show you the main.py file. Our main.py file is pretty straightforward. There are two leads that we're gonna be playing with, and I choose two Latin companies. One is Nubank, and the other one is Mercado Livre. You can see that I set up an ICP in here where I say uh, that we are more focused on medium to large financial institutions that require cybersecurity, and we wanna protect sensitive data. And the pitch is that we are a SaaS platform providing advanced cybersecurity solutions. So you can see that I make like a fake pitch and a fake ICP, but I think that should work. So I'm also using a new feature that we deployed in the last uh, version that is called kickoff for each. I now can pass all those two leads to our crew and our crew is gonna run however many times it's necessary to process all the leads that we are sending it. So I don't need to worry about looping this in any way, shape or form because Crew AI will take care of that, uh, take care of that for me. So let's run our crew real quick. So I just run poetry, run lead qualification, and you can see here our first agent kicking off. You can see that's checking the new bank first and searching the internet, find information about that. Remembering that we're using the new AXA tool in this one, uh, you can see that it's scraping the website from Wikipedia, learning more about new bank that way. Uh, and it's already extracting a bunch of interesting information in order to do for the researching and analysis. All right, so let's let this crew run for a while and I'm gonna show you the final result. 
All right, so our crew just finished running and you can see uh, the information for Mercado Libre in here. You can see the score, the use case summary. You can see that it's one of Latin America's largest e-commerce companies, promising lead. You can see some talking points, talking about uh, how it's the nominant player, talking about the FinTech expansion because they have a new FinTech arm. You can talk about hiring initiatives, see how they are planning to add a bunch of employees focusing on engineering and innovation. And there's information about the company, where they're located, recent news on them, and also their annual recurring revenue. So it's pretty cool. And um, more interesting than that, I actually got it to export a CSV. So we can load the CSV and we can see all the information here, the lead score, the talking points, the name of the companies, their locations, the recent news, their annual revenue, it's everything in here. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this one short. I just wanna highlight some of the new features, but there's more videos to come. So I catch you all later. Have a good one.